A lot of people get scared about channels. Really, all an alpha channel is, is a mask. So, if I turn on quick mask, for example, grab my paintbrush, turn it into normal mode, use black to start painting, what you're actually doing over here in the channels menu is creating an alpha channel entitled quick mask. When you turn quick mask off, it makes your selection and, and then that channel is automatically deleted. When you add a layer mask to a layer, you start painting on it. Actually, what you've done is you've created an alpha channel in the channels menu, which works as a layer mask. So all of the selecting that you do in Photoshop is using a channel in, in some way or another. If I delete that layer mask, that gets rid of it in the channels menu. When you make a selection, take for example, let's do a color range, and I'll select this car. When I hit Save Selection, and I choose a new channel, and name it, that becomes an alpha channel over here. Now I can deselect it, but this alpha channel gets saved with my file. And so I can come back to the channels menu anytime and hold my command key down on a Macintosh or control key down on a PC and click and there's my selection once again. Or alternatively, I can come into the select menu and say load selection, choose car, and click OK, and that's done the same thing. So, whichever one works the best. So, once you have a selection, then you can do things to that selection, such as change the thing. So, what's the advantage of an alpha channel over any other mode of selection? Well, not a whole lot, except there are a couple of commands. Uh, such as the calculations command and some other types of things that you can do in the channels but really no other place and they give us a little bit more power but don't be scared about channels because they're very much like working on a mask and everything that you've learned so far with masking will almost always work in the channels menu